This week we're in Northeast Arkansas. We're here to visit my parents who live up here. And uh, it's the first time we're staying at a city park. Uh, never stayed at a city park before. We did some traveling, getting prepared for the full-time RV life. Um, so we did a couple of trips. I was always in RV parks. And then the first couple of weeks of a full-time RVing adventure has been in RV parks. But uh, now we're in a city park. It only has power and water, no sewer hookups. But, uh, but the view is awesome. It's nice and quiet out here. And it's only $20 a night. So, um, and that's including tax. So it only costs $140 for the week. We'll be staying here for a week and then we'll be heading off to, uh, to Missouri. We'll be in Missouri for about four weeks. But <laughs> the ducks are down here. <laughs> as soon as I walk by, they started uh, sounding the alarm. Pretty good sized park and you can see behind me uh, our RV back there and it's the only one that you can see in the picture that's because there's only three other RVs out here and they're way on the other side of the park so we pretty much it feels like we have uh, the park to ourselves it's been awesome because um, out our back window there's the playground and there's kids here almost every day so scouts been loving hanging out out on the back of the the couch and looking out the big window and watching the kids play. Sometimes the ducks or the geese will walk past the window and he likes uh, he likes <laughs> looking at the birds when they walk by. So Scout's having an awesome time out here. He loves it. Since we're staying at a city park that does not have a sewer hookup, uh, well at first we were like, yeah, we can we can try to make it on, on tank uh, capacity on board, but, uh, and we, we're good on black tank because we don't use it that much, but we quickly realized that the um, gray tank thing was going to be an issue uh, because we just we don't conserve well and we don't like to you know take the quick showers and so we, we went ahead and decided that we were going to get uh, one of the portable tanks that we can take over to the dump station and we're only using this for for the gray tank so we got one of these guys and this is this is one that's made by rhino and i'm going to show you all about this thing and how easy it is to use and um and then we'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to check this out. We're only using it for, for a gray tank. And um, I only had to empty it a couple of times. But, you know, along the way, when we when we booked our initial route, when we went from uh, from Auburn, um, you know, all the way up through, through um, Tennessee, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas, and then down to Texas, we, we booked all that in advance. And we didn't book... This is the only place we booked that was not completely full hookup with sewer and everything. And it's just because of the location. It was the only place close enough to my parents' house uh, that, that there wasn't super far away that could fit. Uh, and it did, have, it did have power and water. So we figured, yeah, we'll give it a try. But since we were so close to my parents and we realized quickly that we were already using too much, too much gray water capacity, we went ahead and ordered this on Amazon Prime. And it was here in time to even do the first dump. Uh, we didn't have to hook up the RV back to the truck and take it over to the dump station, dump it, and then bring it back. So we got this in time to where we didn't have to move the RV. So it's it's a convenience now. And now that once we get done with uh, our destination down in Texas and start looking at where we're going next, 
uh, it'll open up options for us to be able to stay at different places because we know that we can go a week on black tank without having to dump and now that we have uh, you know more gray water capacity and we can use this it won't be as big of an issue this is the tank itself and it is a 28 gallon tank so depending on what your your capacity is uh, you may have to do one or two trips I have to do two trips to completely empty the gray tank and these are the accessories that it comes with uh, it comes with a little hose that you can hook from here over to your valve and then it has this accessory uh, and that will go on there and hook to there and so you can see what's going in there and then this one is for when you take it over to the dump station and hook it up to dump it it does come with a little hose um, which i don't like uh, because it really it's not going to reach anything but i do have uh i have my own rhino hose that came with one of my other accessories that i use when we go to the to the dump station to to rinse out the tank and then this guy right here i'll show you what this is for real quick this is a lifesaver so this this thing right here will go up in here and it will hook onto here so that you can grab a hold of the handle and lift up the whole tank and drag it to where you need it to go so that's what it looks like when it's already hooked i can grab a hold of the handle down here and I lift up on that and then i can take this thing wherever i need it to go which is very convenient this is what it looks like when it's when it's hooked up to the rv and it's pretty standard stuff the one thing that you're going to want to make sure of is when you come over here and you pull this gray gray valve um, you want to only pull it just a little bit and then keep an eye on what's going on over here in there because there's no other there's no other ports or or anything where you can see inside of, see inside of this thing so you kind of just have to watch down in there and maybe slosh it around a little bit just to see how full you are and before you actually pull that valve you're going to want to open this valve here and that is going to allow air to escape as the water is going in and you can fill it, fill it all the way up and you won't get any of that that back pressure over there once you're full or think you're pretty full or you have emptied the gray tank completely you just push your your valve back in there and then you'll go ahead and take this assembly off and then put the cap back on to this area here what's cool about this guy is uh i'm dragging it right now and it's not super heavy so i'm dragging it by the by the handle and it's not that bad but uh, the bad part is that the dump station is about 150 yards from here so the easiest way to get over there is to drag it with the truck all you need is any kind of ball hitch doesn't really matter what size and then because you have your handle with the big ring there you just lift that thing up and hook it onto the ball hitch now you can take your truck and as long as you're going about five miles an hour or slower you can drag this all the way over to the dump station once you get over to the dump station you're going to change adapters you're going to go to this adapter which is going to go inside of the dump station and then instead of using this valve to fill it you're going to hook to this valve to empty it but now that i'm hooked here and the other end is hooked to the to the dump station uh, what you're going to want to do again is you're going to want to unscrew this valve right here and that is going to let the um, the air release so that uh, so that the fluid will flow further through there so once you're hooked up to there just like the valve on your rv you just lift up here and then all the fluid will start running out into the into the clear you'll be able to see it going to the dump and then once you're done um, there's a little bit that gets trapped in the bottom but once it's almost empty it's pretty light so you can just tilt it up one way you just tilt it toward the toward the valve and get that excess fluid out of there and then uh, once it's done draining you go ahead and close this and the next thing you're going to want to do is um, especially if you're using this for for black is to rinse out your tank We'll go ahead and leave this attached with this valve closed and then we're going to hook up our water line up here to rinse this thing out. Water line hookup is up here. Now this whole thing will come off but you don't want the whole thing to come off unless you just want to run water into it. Um, the reason that you want to take this top part off and hook up to there is because there's a valve in there. The way when you hook up to the water, that water sprays 
all along the sides and the inside of this tank to rinse any kind of debris off of the side. But if you just want to fill it with water, you take this whole thing off. If you want it to spray the inside, then you'll just take this little top part off and hook up the hose to that. And we just got the top part off, and so I'm going to hook my hose right into there. I got my hose hooked up, and then I hook up the other side to the water source, and then I will turn the water source on and then uh, make sure I have this valve closed so the water's not coming out. I want that to spray all along the sides, and then also when it's spraying in there, I'll grab hold of the handle and I'll rock it back and forth just to slosh some, slosh some water through there. And then um, I just fill it like about a quarter of the way and slosh that water around real good. And then I'll turn that that water off. I will open the valve and then uh, let that let that water that I just used to clean come back out into the dump station. Um, of course, this is all done if uh, there's not a huge line at the dump station. If there's a line at the dump station, I'll come and just dump it and then I'll wait till later on. And then I'll I'll fill the uh, I'll, I'll rinse it off later once there's not a line at the at the dump station. And I know somebody was going to ask where we store this thing. <laughs> so we store it up front. Um, you can see we have our our generator there and our propane that runs our generator. And so we have some extra room up front here. And so we uh, we store it up there. And the accessories are stored. And the accessories are stored down here. Now you're going to want to make sure that uh, because this does share a compartment with your with your battery if you use it in the same way we are, uh, you've got to make sure that nothing's leaking, all of the valves uh, covers are on securely, you just dry up any areas so it doesn't drip into any kind of electronical stuff. But it's over on this side, it's pretty still, uh, it's still a pretty good ways away from anything electronical, but just in case. And because we only use it for gray, um, even though gray is still not great and super clean, it's not like we're gonna have waste in our in our compartment, even if there was a small leak. But we make sure it's empty. Uh, we make sure it's dry. We make sure everything's clamped off good before we put it in here. I wouldn't be able to lift it up into here if it was full anyway, because it's 28 gallons and it'd just be way too heavy to, to put in there. So it's it's for the most part it's uh, clean and dry, and so that's where we store it. And so that's our solution for uh, times when we. Uh, can't get to uh, uh, sewer hookups and I think now we'll use it more often and, and when during this week I had to use this twice and for each time I had to uh, I had to fill this thing up twice each time so a total of four times I had to fill this thing and take it but on, on one session I would take it twice and then the next session I took it twice and that completely got us through the full week and and then some I uh, didn't have to completely empty it the last time I did it, but I just went ahead and did it anyway because I was already already doing it. But um, I think it's good. It's about 150 bucks on Amazon, and we'll put a link to that in case you want to get one. Um, definitely worth it. Worth it if you're going to be staying at places that don't have don't have sewer hookup. And a lot of the places that don't have sewer hookup that are just uh, water and electricity are like the Recreation.gov areas. Uh, you know, Army Corps of Engineering, state parks, places like that, uh, which are, are way more scenic. So I think just doing a little extra work, instead of having to save water or use the shower facilities or bathroom facilities here, uh, we opted to go ahead and get the, get the tank. And since we were close to my parents to be able to ship it straight to them, anyway, we went ahead and took advantage of that. But um, uh, we've enjoyed our time out here at the city park, and I think we're definitely going to do it again. We're already booked up through through Texas, but after that, I think that we will take advantage of using this tank and staying in more places that are more scenic or more secluded and uh, that maybe don't have sewer hookup. But anyway, we had a great time out here, and I hope that that was some useful information for you. And if you're considering it, uh, check the link in the description below and go to Amazon and. Uh, We'll get a little kickback for that and we'll put that toward helping veterans and um, just like we do at the end of every video we're going to honor a fallen hero and i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next week bye